Welcome, this is a game brought to you by Piece of Pie Software and is available for free download. Simply find a link in the video description to the advertisement video which will contain the link to the free download. So if you're interested in playing this game for yourself, take a look, and we hope you enjoy. Oh, oh, hello there. At the time of recording this, there's less than two weeks left until release. I kind of want to finish recording this before release. Now, I'm going to chipmunk the journey, just to make this go a bit faster, because, you know, it's not like you need it to be slow and easy to follow, because, well, it's easy enough to follow in sped up mode. So yeah, I'm first going to go for that thing that I died trying to get to last time, and then I'm going to go to the artifact thing, whatever it is at the blue circle. Okay, it's an artifact, sorry, I gave that away a bit. A slip of the tongue, or something. So yeah, I'm gonna speed it up now. And yeah, see you when I get to the blue circle. Hello, I'm, I am Chipmunk, and Paul is making me play this stupid bit, because it takes forever, and he is lazy. Oh well. At least I am in the credits of this game. My name is Chippy Bunkles, aka Chipmunk. Yes, it's just easier for you mere humans to know what I am, rather than having to call me Chippy Bunkles. Okay, I don't even need to look at the map, because I am too skilled. Oh, what was that? Oh, this is a bit scary. I will check anyway. Oh. Run, run, run. And down here, we have a path. What is that? <coughs> a rubber cat. I will let Paul decide what to do with that. But, for now, make your way back. I don't even need to go down to that other bunch of rocks. I can just go, hopefully. Oh. Oh no. Run! Run! <laughs> Run! You can do it! This is not the best way to get to the artifact, but it is for this purpose. Ah, good. Now it is just up there. Ah. Unfortunately, there is not enough time to go from here, so I must wait. Ah. Congratulations, Paul. You made a boring game. No, you didn't. Anyway. Thank you. Oh, oh, thanks, Chipmunk. Um, yeah, so... Gosh, so there's a blue thing on the floor there. Phew, I guess this is the artifact thingy. Artifact. Now to find out where we use this weird thing. Now, Chipmunk got the rubber cap for me. Although there's no way to really find out without me telling you, Mark has some weakness to, to thunder, as in lightning and stuff. Yeah, yeah stuff. Yeah. So equip that on him. Now to save time, I'm just going to get shocked, so I can teleport back to the start, and then make my way to the question mark. There is one more thing to get, ow, to get that I haven't shown in the video, or in a video so far, um, but we'll get that after we've dealt with the question mark because getting it while the storm is going on sorry spoilers, we, we save the forest from the storm uh, trying to get it while the storm is going on means you can't actually get back after getting it and it's a very useless item so yeah, it's really not worth it right so I hope you're following along at home here comes Chipmunk again Chipmunk eating, um, 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 um
Thanks, Chipmunk. Oh, these look pretty tasty. And a uh, ham. Um, mm. Oh, wow, they are. Right. So, once you get to sort of the bottom, the bottom left area of the map, you want to come to this area. If you look on the map, you see that sort of plus area in the very bottom left. You want to make your way in here while the storm is going on, because there's a chest. Damn it, the stupid rain has rusted this chest shut. Can't open it. Oh yes you can. Just stand here next to it. And... Oh, it struck it open. Ooh, the lightning blasted the chest open. Thunder Mike, one of the elemental weapons. Ah yes. Now then, don't equip it on Mark yet because the upcoming boss has resistance to lightning. In fact, you usually don't ever want to use the elemental weapons, really, unless you know the weaknesses coming up. That's just me. I don't like using elemental things. In case, you know... Um, like, say we... Say... I don't know. Just basically, I never like using elemental... damage weapons in RPGs, because... You never know when you're going to end up in a boss battle and one of your characters is useless because he can't do any physical damage. Because the the enemy absorbs whatever element the person has got. So, we're almost there. This is it. Home stretch. Well, not, not the home stretch. The stretch towards the boss thing. Now, in case you forgot, I equipped Mark with the rubber mic. The, the rubber mic? The rubber cap. Most people probably won't bother going to get the rubber cap. And it doesn't really matter, it's just a bit of added extra stuff. Defense against this. What the heck is this? Some kind of weird pillar. It has a slot in it. Looks like the art. Go away. Looks like the artifact fits in the slot. Clonk. Whoa! What's it doing? Ah! Oh! Kirby music! Right. This boss doesn't particularly have any weaknesses. Um, viruses do do more. So go ahead and use Virus Man. Basically, don't use, I think, water or thunder specifically. I think fire doesn't do much either. I don't remember, just use ice to be safe. I think that at least does plenty of damage. Oh yeah, we've got Ice Age as well, might as well. And uh, yeah, you can't really do much to it. You can stun it, but there's not really... Well, you don't really have anything that specifically does that. Whoa! Oh, how could you miss with a revolver? Whatever. Anyway. Um, at least I think ice does more damage. Let's just try something else, because I might be mistaken. Let's try earth. Yeah. Well, I guess just to save MP, we'll stick to, like, the Aras. Yeah. I 
again, the battle animations have been a bit weird. Because uh, I'm recording. I don't know why it does this, but by the way. Oh well. No. Um. Oh, might as well defend. Didn't realise how low he was. Oh, sorry. Oh. It's alright, looks like Clive sometimes goes first anyway. I thought this boss was faster than us. Under normal circumstances, maybe. But right now, no. Oh yes. He can heal. He... Well, it. Oh, it did, did kind of go first that time. It's very strange. Shouldn't take too long. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we're getting low on everything now. It doesn't have any... wait. I think I already said it doesn't have anything to steal. If I didn't, then it doesn't have anything to steal, okay? Okay. You know what? Go ahead. Viruses make everything faster. Soda critical hits. Tasty. Oh wait, I'll only get to use two. I also use virus input to maximise my output. Or, or whatever. Something like that. Seems it still does more than my physical attack. Let's just do the worm actually. Do the worm. Like it's a dance. Oh. Well there we go. Dulagi Rod. Ah, level ups. Hoff! Technology is not welcome in a place like this. Oh, clearing up. What is this? A giant pile of... no, it's a pit. We saved the forest! It seems the storm happened because of that thing that we just got rid of. Mother Nature did not want technology in this forest, so tried to destroy it. So not only did we help the chocobos, we also helped Mother Nature. Oh no, the map is messed up because of the rain. Gotta find our way back. At least it's safe and peaceful now. <laughs>